What's up? Today we're gonna learn how to make this. Kind of cool rising up synth, you know, a little rat tatty, pretty cool. Let's make it. Boom. Check it out. First step open ES2. If you haven't already made your default patch just, you know, a single wave, you should do that, but you're not going to know how, so just bear with me. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, put this in the center, open up all three of these oscillators, and make them all sawtooth waves. This is what we got. Pretty lame. Let's put a little analog. Now, what analog does, I'll let you hear. So, no analog. With analog. It's a little more extreme. What it does is it just detunes all of the oscillators just a little bit which is great because it makes your sound a little wider. You can also do that by adjusting these, but the advantage of this is it does it for everyone and it's uniform and really easy. So, a little bit of analog, do it for whatever. Whatever amount you want. I don't care. Check it out. Next target, what should it be? Let's pick cut off one and two, as in both of these guys are on our filter and our source conveniently already envelope two, but we can make it Let's make it envelope one, which is right here. It's a little simpler. So what this does, I'm going to turn this down. So our target being this cutoff and the source is envelope one. So this envelope is going to dictate how much cutoff we're going to get. So check it out. If I push this up, that's the attack of the envelope. That means it's going to take more time, 1600 milliseconds, for us to reach about halfway of the cutoff, so about there. If this was all the way up here, then it would take 1600 milliseconds for it to get completely full. So, okay, we'll leave it up there for now. So check it out. You see it's kind of gliding up, right? And the lower we go with the cutoff, the more dramatic it's going to sound. That's really building. And you see how it cut off at the end there? That's because our decay is down here. So as soon as the cutoff reaches this point, after 1600 milliseconds, the decay level, I mean, in this case, just the volume is going to go down. So if this was above it, after 1600 milliseconds, the volume is going to increase. Check it out. Cool. So check it out. All right, we're going to leave this just about even, so it's not going to fluctuate at all. And I'm not going to turn this all the way full, maybe like 60%, and start halfway, or sorry, a quarter of the way, just so we start with a little cutoff. And you can adjust that as much as you want. Boom, boom, boom. The more dramatic you make these, the longer it's going to take. Sorry, if you would, the shorter it's going to take, the more you do this. All right, we're pretty close. So next what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna increase the release here so it's gonna stick around a little longer. Maybe a little more. A little less. Yeah, that sounds about good. And the other thing that's gonna make this a lot better is to add some reverb. So let's just add some freaking reverb. I'm gonna turn down the reverb amount just a little bit. That sounds a lot better, so it's kind of sailing. So another thing that's interesting, or that you should know, is that the third envelope here in the ES2 is wired to the volume, meaning the attack, the time it takes to reach your desired uh, sustain level, sorry, is going to be hardwired to volume, whereas we just wired the cutoff here to <laughs> envelope one, which is not volume but it does give the impression of volume. So here, this is gonna help out. I'm gonna play. Let's see, it takes a lot longer to get louder. This is gonna take a long time. Still building, still building. There we go. So if it's lower, it's gonna come in immediately. Higher, take longer. Makes it a little dramatic. So you can mess with that, put some reverb on it, and that's basically it. That sounds pretty good to me. 
you for the coming.